Welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took on the Johto leaders here in the Pokemon World Tournament, and in today's episode, we're ready to take on the hardest of the regional tournaments. So let's go ahead, talk to this lady once again. Today, we are going to be participating in the Kanto leaders single tournament battle. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to go ahead and enter Barnkey first, Nagini second, and Murth third. Now, a lot of you guys gave me different combinations on the team members that we should bring in, and I do feel confident in these. Now, as you can see, we beat every single one of the regional tournaments except Kanto, and upon beating Kanto, something special will happen. So here we are in the Kanto Leaders Tournament. So many, you know, familiar faces here. Looks like the first one we're going to be taking on is Janine, and I'm actually quite excited for it. I know that Kanto is going to be a very tough one to take on. You know, some of the other ones have been okay. But today, we're going to have a little bit of a tough time, and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. The first round, Janine versus Rodri. Cross our fingers, guys, because here we go. I'm Janine. Feel the horror of poison-type Pokemon. Here we go. Rodri versus Janine. Let's go ahead and take her on, then. Janine is a poison-type trainer, if I remember correctly. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Janine and her three Pokemon. Looks like she's going to open up with a Venomoth. Good thing we have Barky up in front, right? You know what I'm saying, guys? I guess we lucked out there. You know, we seem to have doing, been doing quite well in these tournaments. We've got some pretty good matchups. Thank goodness for our team being pretty well balanced to the point where they can pretty much counter everything-ish that is thrown at us. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. That should take it down. You know, I was hesitant. I don't know if to go for the Flamethrower because I don't think it would have took it down all the way. Now, the only problem is that we're poisoned. Uh, and it looks like we're probably going to go down. So you know what? I'm going to self-sacrifice Barky here. We're going to go for another Flare Blitz. And I'm hoping that it'll do a good amount to the Arbok. Uh, if it does a good amount to it, then, uh, you know, the sacrifice will be worth it. That was okay. Better than I expected. Barky's down, guys. And with that, we have two Pokemon left. It's making me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. This, this tournament's going to be one of the ones that's going to get my blood pressure rising. You know, it's going to send it off the roof. I'm going to be freaking out. It's going to be tough, and let's just hope it all goes well. Now, um, I remember last time when we were doing Johto, we actually talked about New Year's resolutions, and I got to read all of your guys's, and you actually have some really, really great ones. And, you know, it makes me really thankful that a lot of you guys were like, you know, you are making a difference already. So I just want to go ahead and give you guys the thanks, you know. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me, you know. If I can help you guys in some way or bring a smile to your face, you know, it makes it all worth it. So it's really nice that some of you, you know, did give me that sort of reassurance type thing. It's like, hey, you already are making a difference. And, you know, it's kind of crazy when you really do think about it. Um, and it just makes me really, really thankful for everything I have. You know, go out there, guys. And I hope you do accomplish, you know, your New Year's resolutions for all of you that posted it on there on the comments. And... I really hope, you know, you can achieve it and know that you can, you know, there's no one stopping you. We won our first round. I'm going to really apply myself and prove my skills. I want to become much better than both my father and you. If you guys don't know, her father is actually Koga, and he actually was an Elite Four member. So let's check out the other matches. Turn your attention to the giant screen. Here we go, Misty and Blaine. Misty's going to take that, no doubt about that. I mean, type advantage here. Yep, Misty has gone ahead and won. Uh, Erica and Sabrina, I couldn't tell you. It looks like Erica has pulled that one off. Ooh, we have Brock and Giovanni down there too, so we'll see. We, we beat Janine. That wasn't bad. Now, Brock and Giovanni. Wow, that's a tough one. It looks like Giovanni has won. Let's move on to the next battle. If I remember correctly, Giovanni's actually the strongest of the Kanto leaders too. So, of course, we would have to defeat him before we continue any further on. The self-proclaimed strongest trainer, Giovanni, enters the ring. Just like I said, Giovanni is the 8th gym leader. And here we go, guys. The second round, Giovanni versus Rodri. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Here we go, Rodri versus Giovanni. The old leader of Team Rocket. The 8th gym leader of the Kanto region. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Giovanni. Wow, he's going to send out Rhyperior. All right, man. We are going to be in some trouble here. Rhyperior is kind of a beast. And by kind of, I mean look at it. If that doesn't look like the most intimidating Pokemon in the world, then I don't know what is. I think I'm just going to keep Barky up in front for now. Barky, you know, he's had a tough time this tournament. It, it's been a rough one. You know, he's going up against some, some tough people. And that's what happens when you're the opener. Uh, if I can get any recommendations for you guys going to this tournament, 
get a really good opener. Um, it makes it a lot easier. Like, thank goodness for me having type advantages a lot of the time, or things would be a lot more complicated. Let's go for the Outrage. All right, this is definitely going to take us out, but at least we got the right Pyrior down to about half. Uh, I'm thinking that was probably a good start. Let's go send out Mirth then, and let's see what we can do. Maybe Mirth can take down this Rhyperior. If he can, that would be great. If not, then we'll, we'll figure it out, you know? We're, we still have Nagini ready to go, and Nagini will do pretty well against them. Yes, we should be able to take it down here. Oh man, this is making me nervous. What if the Rhyperior pulls something crazy out, then what the heck are we going to do here? I don't know. I, I guess we'll figure it out, guys. Let's go for it. And there we go. Rhyperior is down. And with that, Giovanni still has two Pokemon left, though. So what the heck are we going to do? A Marowak. Haven't seen one of those in a really long time. All right, well, let's give it our best shot here. Uh, and let's try for the best, guys. Let's hope that we can actually make something happen here. All right, let's go for it. It... it we aren't doing anything to this thing. It looks like it's going to go for the Outrage. And it's absolutely going to take us down, which is just beyond lovely. Just what I wanted. Us to be taken down. All right, here we go. Nagini's coming out. The Leaf Storm should take these Pokemon out. Pretty sure we'll be super effective on them. See if I was... Yeah, correct. Sweet. Super effective. You know, it's always nice. I have a strategy for you guys, too. If you ever have to go up against uh, a team of Pokemon that pretty much, uh, you know, you only have like one Pokemon that's super effective against them, I recommend using all your other Pokemon first. It tends to work, as you can see. Uh, we just cleaned up the rest of Giovanni's team. I don't think that crit would have even mattered at that point. And with that, Sandslash is down. What? Me lose? All right, Giovanni. Kind of sucks for you, man. Go back to the Team Rocket layer. So the winner of the second round is Rodri. There we have it, guys. Huh. I lose. There's nothing I wish to say to you. See you later, Giovanni. Say hi to your friends and Team Rocket. You know, how are you guys doing? Let's check out the other match on the giant screen then and see who we're going to be facing in the finals. The second round, Misty versus Erica. Woo, who's going to be the winner of this one? Uh, the ladies, the tough trainer, cool in a pinch but hot as fire. Misty is advancing to the finals, and we know that we have advanced as well. So it looks like we're going to be taking on Misty to see who the Kanto Leaders Tournament winner is going to be. Recently winning a few times, this trainer is becoming popular around Driftvale City. Here comes our Rodri. Hey, what's up, everybody? I know I've won a bunch of tournaments. How you guys doing in Driftvale City? I know you guys love me here in Driftvale. What's up? Kanto Leaders Tournament, the final round. The opponent is entering the arena. And here we have it, guys. The tomboyish merman, Misty, takes the stage now. It looks like she's also a crowd favorite. Maybe it's because the swimsuit she's wearing. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But let's go ahead and do this. The final round, Misty versus Rodri. It all comes down to this, guys. This is the last regional tournament. I'm Misty. I'm a user of water type Pokemon. My water type Pokemon are tough. Here we go. Rodri versus Misty for the Kanto Leaders Tournament Final. Let's go ahead and take her on then. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Misty. And, ooh, she's going to open up with Starmie. All right. Kind of a, kind of a, you know, pretty predictable start there. Um, I was pretty sure she was going to do that anyway. So let's go ahead and send out Barky then. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's Psychic Water. So if we can land the Crunch, we should be able to do a good amount of damage to it. But we're about to find out how it goes here in Kanto. It's going to go for the Hydro Pump. Absolutely fantastic. Going to take us down there, which kind of sucks. Uh... Kinda sucks. Yeah, good thing we have Nagini. I'm thinking Nagini will probably be able to do some serious damage against uh, these guys. Or so I think. I mean, we're about to find out here. Cross your fingers that Nagini will be able to do it. Because if Nagini can't, then I don't know who will. Holy crap, that Starmie did a ton of damage on us. Uh, kind of make me a little bit nervous, but it's down. Okay, so that's that's Misty's first Pokemon. Doesn't really matter because she still has two left. And the next one is a Lapras. Of course, a Pokemon that would have Ice-type moves, this is going to hurt. I have a bad, bad feeling about this. I think she's going to bring the whooping, and uh, it's going to hurt. Wow, that did about half, but this should take us... Wow, it didn't take... It missed? Sweet. I guess we have luck on our favor today going into this tournament, guys. Something is going well with us, and there we go. Super effective. Uh, going very well. Too bad we really didn't take it out there, because I don't think it will miss the Hydro Pump this time around. So with that, we're probably going to get taken out. That's okay. Woo! We're going to really have to believe in our team here because the only Pokemon we have left is Mirth. And if you guys remember, Mirth is Dragon Ground, which means Water-type moves and Ice-type moves are going to be super effective on it. Let's go for the Dragon Claw then. Come on, come on, come on. Lapras is down, and now we are in a one-on-one -on -one situation. 
here in the Kanto Leaders Tournament. Let's go ahead and do this then. And of course, the last one would be a Slowbro. A Pokemon that I hate. A Pokemon that has always annoyed me. And you guys pretty much know about that. You know, Slowbro has always been one of those Pokemon that give me a lot of trouble. Uh, I don't enjoy Slowbros. I, I don't like them very much. They're kind of stressful. They stress me out a little bit. From time to time, they just give me a headache. And oh my gosh! Super effective! We almost took it down there! If we could just hit like one more, it would probably go down. Or at least I'm hoping it will. Oh man, holy crap! What was that? It oh, and we're asleep. Okay, so cool. Thanks for the yawn. Now we're just gonna have to wait it out here. And hope that we wake up. But I believe in mirth. I do believe in mirth a lot. And I think our team will be able to do it. As you can see, oh, we did wake up. Sweet. The slow bro also healed itself. So it's not like it was stressing about us. It sh should have probably gone for an attack there. If we can tank this Psy Shock, then it looks like we have pretty much won this tournament. All right, let's go for the crunch one last time then. And let's hope that this will take down the slow bro. There we have it, guys. Super effective. And with that, we have defeated Misty's last Pokemon. You really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. The winner is, drum roll everybody please, Rodri. There we have it guys. So with that, we've clinched the Kanto Leaders Tournament and woo, we are looking quite good. You know what, my dream was to go on a journey and battle powerful trainers. I made my dream come true and now my next dream is to defeat you. This concludes the Kanto Leaders Tournament. See you in the next tournament. So with that, guys, we have defeated all the regional tournaments. We have come out on top, and we're looking quite great. Now, here's the twist. Congratulations on winning the Kanto Leaders Tournament. As a result, we award battle points. Now, other than that, there's actually something else coming up that some of you may know about. You can now participate in the World Leaders Tournament. So that's what we will be doing next. We are going to be taking on all the world leaders of all the regions in the next episode. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.